In this video, I'll show why artificial general intelligence will emerge from robotics. But first, I need to define briefly what I mean by AGI. Consider that general intelligence includes abilities we attribute to the human mind which differentiate us from today's AI. We use words like understanding, comprehension, and common sense to describe these. And while today's AI can make a good start at conversation, a few simple questions can easily show that underlying those answers there is no understanding whatsoever. When our computers can convince us that they understand, they will have gone a long way towards AGI. While today's AIs have superhuman abilities in narrow niches, most of their failings consist of basic things any three-year-old can understand. Here are a few examples. Consider a child playing with blocks. She knows objects are physical things which exist in a three-dimensional world, and that world is controlled by physical laws. She understands the passage of time and she knows that actions she takes will impact future events. The fundamental question is, could you understand space, time, and causality without ever having experienced them? These are all components of what we call common sense and areas of intelligence where AGI is lacking. Now think about how a child learns these things. She learns almost everything by interacting with her environment. She moves about, she grasps objects, and she examines them from all sides. She tries out actions on objects and sees what happens. Playing with blocks lets her learn that most objects are solid. She learns that squarish objects can be stacked, but round ones can't. She learns that blocks must be stacked before they can be knocked down. She learns that careful stacking can build a taller stack while careless stacking can cause a collapse. Sure, we can program a robot to stack blocks, but that doesn't really contribute to AGI at all. Instead, we need to let the mind of the robot explore and experiment. Consider the simple statement, things fall down. You can understand because you know about things and falling and down. GPT-3 might have enough superficial information about these words to respond in an intelligent sounding way. But for true AGI, we'll need true understanding. Now think about how an AGI might learn these things. I contend that the best way to learn will be just like the child does with the AGI experimenting and interacting with real objects. This means that the AGI must be integrated with a robot. The computational system of the AGI need not be inside the robot, it could be a supercomputer with a wireless connection. The key is that the AGI needs rapid sensory feedback from the actions it takes. So what are the basic capabilities a robot needs to allow an AGI to learn these things. Mobility, various senses of touch, vision, and hearing, and interaction with physical objects. These abilities of an AGI robot are well within the realm of today's robotics. In fact, a fairly simple low-cost robot should be sufficient for creating AGI. For example, a mobile robot with vision, a manipulator arm, and touch sensors might be sufficient for an AGI to learn about the real world. I'll get into more details about such a robot in future videos as this project progresses. The key to AGI is in the robot's brain, if you will. It needs to control the robot to explore its environment and try out actions and see what happens, just like a child. Consider that if this simple robot were controlled by a potential AGI, it could learn more about dogs in a few moments of interaction than an AGI can learn from thousands of images of dogs. While I contend that robots are needed for the most likely path to AGI, let me point out that robots aren't strictly necessary for two reasons. Rather than a physical robot in a real-world environment, 
a simulated robot in a simulated environment might be able to learn the same things. Within the brain simulator, all the initial experimentation has been done in a simulated world. The difficulty with this approach is that a progressively more accurate simulator is needed to recreate the variability and unexpectedness of the real world. And maintaining and extending the simulator rapidly becomes more difficult than building a physical robot. Second, consider that if you put on a blindfold, you don't immediately lose your ability to visualize. That is, your fundamental understanding of what it is to see things in the real world or know about them. Likewise, an AGI will continue its understanding about the world even if its robot is disconnected. But AGIs have an additional capability, with an AGI will have the ability to copy its content to another computer, a clone if you will. And we can clone the AGI onto a system which has never been connected to a robot, and this system will inherit the understanding which the robotic system acquired. Clearly then, understanding is just a pattern of software and data, and there must be other pathways to creating the same result without using a robot at all. As in the first example, I contend this is more difficult than creating a robot and letting it learn on its own. So an AGI's need for a robot is a practical one, not a theoretical requirement. I contend that solving the problems needed to create even a simple autonomous robotic system is a quicker pathway to AGI than other approaches. So the Brain Simulator project is expanding to create a simple robot with the necessary abilities to interact with its environment to allow AGI to emerge. I hope you'll subscribe to this channel and follow along as the Brain Simulator's new robotic project progresses. You can also go to brainsim.org and download the software and join the project. And as always, thanks for watching.